What's going on everybody? This is Justin, otherwise known as the Flipping Accountant. I'm a full-time CPA and in my spare time, I like to go to different stores like Walmart, Target, garage sales, estate sales, buy stuff and then resell it online on eBay or Amazon to make extra money. Today's video, I went to a couple different Walmarts and I found a ton of secret clearance Legos. So today is actually part one of a three-part video series. The next video, there is even more Legos that I found at several more Walmarts. And then the third video is actually gonna be kind of a case study where I show you all of the Legos that I bought, all of the toys that I bought to see how much I spent, how much I think I'm going to make off the stuff. And then I think we're going to check in on it maybe in six months or 12 months. And we'll see if my strategy of buying clearance Legos actually pays off to resell later down the road. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate the support and let's jump right into it. These guys are down to 20, normally 30, 20. Oh, sorry if I'm in the way here. This ones are 16, normally 20. Here are the ones that I'm gonna get. This one is 25, normally 40. This one is 25, normally 40. And then these guys down here are 13, normally 20. So we're gonna grab those and quickly look in the other section. Very small Lego section here. After looking at the Legos, I didn't really see any more that were on sale, but I did find a Walmart employee and I asked her if she could check and see if she could mark down the clearance Legos anymore for me. So she came by to help me out to see if she could mark them down. This is on clearance, but I was hoping I could do it for you a little bit less. Did they let you mark them down if they've been there for a while? Yeah. Okay. If, they, if they don't see them. But like, those wasn't even in the seats and stuff. That's why they wasn't going down. I'm going to take now. You can get both? Yeah, that's okay. cool. Yeah, so basically I asked her if she could mark some of those down and she marked down one of the Mario sets. So I asked her if she wouldn't mind coming to the clearance section with me to see if she can mark down some more. Because since she already marked down one set, maybe she could mark down the others and then this could turn into a huge haul, which I was pretty excited about. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm standing like right in front of her. So these ones right here are the ones that you just looked up for me? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, what about this one? So because she changed the price for this Mario Lego set in the system, she marked it down, I think it was 16, she marked it down to eight. It's normally a $20 set. All of these are now $8 a piece in the system. So even though they don't have the clearance sticker on them, they're all marked down to eight bucks. So I'm gonna to continue to ask her to see what other ones she can mark down as well. Thank you for helping me. But they were just going to do it. And then they were just going to do another like, clearance week. Okay. When people don't know you, just, you can ask. You can't, because if we can't, it's going to say we can't. Okay, I gotcha. I figured it never hurts to ask, right? Yeah, because we can you know, like, Okay. It ain't going to let us do nothing once the post is Right, so, <laughs> right. Like, if, if that's okay with you. Okay. I'll probably, I'll probably leave a couple. All right. Uh, what about these ones right here too? These not, see these not allowed. Those ones not allowed, okay. Okay. What about, say, yeah, one of those. Thank you. 
So, so far we've gotten quite a few LEGO sets marked down. The one right on top, the Boomer Bill, that's normally a $30 set. She marked that one down to $10. I asked her to check on these Minecraft sets, and these are normally $70, and she marked those down to $30. So each one of those is going to be a $40 savings. I also pointed out a couple Ninjago sets that were on the shelf over here, and I think those are $20 sets that... We're not a huge discount, but she's checking to see if she can mark it down for me. Now, this whole process does end up taking a little bit of time. You know, it is kind of inconvenient when you have to ask the employees for help. But, you know, sometimes you can luck out. They can be super helpful, and they can give you discounts on stuff. And she did say a little earlier in the video that they're only allowed to do the discounts if the system will let them. So she's not doing anything legal or anything that is, you know, against their policy. She's just essentially enabling the markdowns that the system had in place anyways. So she marked down this Ninjago set for me, and now we're gonna do a quick recap and show you guys everything that we've got so far. All right, guys, so I don't know how much that you're gonna see, but um, she, uh, she really hooked me up. She actually went down and marked down some of these. So she marked this one down to 30 from 70. She marked this one down to eight from 20. So I'm gonna get all those for eight. She marked all these ones down to like eight. So I'm going to show you guys. Look at that, 10 bucks. Normally 24, or normally 30. So she marked this down. This is insane. I cannot believe that actually. Uh, she was she was super cool about it. She was super nice. I really appreciated the help. You know, it never hurts to ask, right? Like, just take the time to ask, be friendly. You know ask for help and the lady was like if it'll let me do it she's like i'll do it she's like if i can it won't let me so she uh she really hooked me up so check this out i've already got a whole shopping cart full of lego right here we're gonna grab a whole bunch of these too because these were 17 and i think she said she marked them down to like eight so let's see so nope it's still saying 17. maybe just an update yet I think she said she did those down to eight. So uh, I'm not sure if this one's gonna work, but um, it looks like the rest of them. What about this one right here? This one is 16. Look at that, eight bucks. Boom. So yeah, we're doing good. We gotta get out of here though. Just going to show you what the prices are ringing up at eight dollars a piece for the small mario ones thirty dollars a piece for these big minecraft ones which is just an amazing deal the msrp is normally 69.99 so to save 40 bucks a piece is pretty awesome so normally i would like to go through a normal checkout lane so i could use my tax exempt card because they generally don't let you use it in self-checkout but they didn't have any normal lanes open so i had to do the self-checkout
want to take a quick second and thank the sponsor of today's video, the Selling Fastlane Discord. The Selling Fastlane is an exclusive online community for Amazon and eBay sellers. Inside the community, there is tons of valuable information, including online arbitrage leads, retail arbitrage leads shared daily, community Zoom calls, and access to hundreds of other Amazon and eBay sellers. This Discord will tell you what products to buy, how much they cost, how much to sell them for, how much you'll be expected to make, and what they're selling for on platforms like Amazon and eBay. Even if you've never sold an item before on Amazon or eBay, this is a perfect starting point for you. Or if you're already on your journey, this would make an excellent tool in your arsenal to help you find more deals, make more profit. I've partnered with the Selling Fastlane Discord to get my audience their very first month free, 100% free, no cost to you. Only for a limited time, click on the link below in the video description, enter the coupon code Justin in all caps, you get your first month 100% free. I'm excited to see you all in the Discord and we'll talk to you later. So I do see that they have a lot of different scooters and stuff on sale. So it looks like a lot of them are going pretty quick. But I'm looking for like an electric scooter. I don't see any electric scooters on sale. They're hoverboards. This is like a weird clearance aisle, not so clearance. We've got some of these guys. This is not on sale. Check this out right here. These guys right here. Five bucks. It's normally a ten dollar set. So yep. It's only five bucks so for five bucks i'm gonna grab those right there and then i'm gonna look around and see if we can't find anything else because some of this stuff might also be on clearance i'm not sure so i'm gonna scan some stuff and i'll let you guys know so just want to show you guys they do have some other cool stuff on clearance like check this out this big bmw car is 111 normally 149. Let's see if it's any cheaper nope 111 got these big power wheels for 174 got this ford for 89 normally 150 these lol houses are on sale so they do have a lot of stuff a lot of these big toys it looks like they're cleaning out but check this out this is pretty awesome so i have my cart full of these little lego sets that are on sale and i decided to come over here and it looks like they have more of them right here so this one is the same one right there so we're gonna have to grab those so. oh goodness so as always we'll leave one there but i decided to scan the rest of them and check this out right here this one is 429 this is normally a ten dollar set so I don't know why this one's on sale, but I just found it by scanning. We're gonna grab those too. So it always it's always worth it if you have the time to just take the time and just go through and scan stuff because you can find hidden clearance everywhere. So I'm gonna keep scanning and see if I can't find any more hidden clearance Lego and I'll let you guys know. Now I have looked in this section. This is the Lego section, and I got really excited here for a second because I thought this was 40 bucks but that's for luke's x-wing so that's not the right price so always take the time to scan stuff that's how you can find the stuff that's hidden clearance these are the ones that i found so far this one's five this one's four normally 10 and then this one right here this one's only four bucks as well and that's normally 10 as well so i'm gonna see if there's any more in the lego aisle but for the most part, the Lego aisle is pretty well straightened and pretty well cleaned up. So I think I'm kind of lucky that I actually even found these ones that I did. Because most of these are all the newer sets that just came out. So we're kind of at the tail end of Lego season here. So I'm pretty grateful that I'm actually still finding any. But you know, you never know. You know, your store might be different. It might be worth it to take the time to just kind of go up and down and scan everything. Because you never know what you're going to find. So yes, it looks like... 
there are no more of these sets right here. So I'm going to grab these ones and see if there's anything else. And I'll let you guys know. All right. So I'm in the electronic section and I found a bunch of clearance stuff. Some of this stuff seems pretty old. Like they've got some old Kirby's Epic Yarn stuff. Lego Movie Sticker Book. Watch Dogs. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Game or book for 10 bucks. And they've got some older video games. So I'm going to scan the older video games and see if there's any good deals here. So I'll let you guys know. All right, so nothing worth grabbing there, but um, it's always worth checking because you never know. Check out the games real quick. See if they got any clearance stuff. Mm, not seeing anything. Oof, they got a lot of games down here. I don't see any other jumping out at me, so I'm gonna look around a little bit. I will get back to you guys. All right, that's going to wrap it up for part one of this three-part video series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did find tons and tons of clearance Lego at both stores. The first store is probably a little bit better than the second, but I still found some good stuff. Always take the time to scan stuff, double check the price, and don't be afraid to ask employees for help. It doesn't hurt to ask if they can mark stuff down. The worst thing that they're going to say is no. If you don't ask, the answer is always going to be no, but if you ask, the answer might be yes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. Leave me a comment down below let me know what you thought of the video don't forget to subscribe and we'll talk to you later